Okay, now we're here. Huh? Yeah, if you do the bad ending, it's Miyoko. She just gets flat out smashed. Oh. What's this? What's going on? Um. Hey, was that? Uh, um. Uh, yeah, it had to be. Th this is alter ego. Yeah. Alter ego. This some is this some stupid virus from the stupid from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell, I don't believe this. Yeah, so you remember when you plugged in Alter Ego? Yeah. Uh, when you plugged Alter Ego in, they got into the network of the school. Hmm. Seems you finally made a miscalculation. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words. What I'm saying is you shouldn't have underestimated underestimated us. Hmm. hmm, why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch. An itch. The stupid virus is gone now. Got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you'll never gonna s you're never gonna see him again. Yeah! To waste away in a garbage stoon pit. In a way that's an even better special punishment. You're now in the trash room. Oh, good. But it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring the spirit to the rest of you. Bring the spirit to the entire world. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Longer laugh. <laughs> Fucking Winnie the Pooh wannabe. Mm. Uh, um. No, who says that? That's uh, Tigger. Tigger, yeah. T Tigger, my fault. Is he gone? <laughs> hey Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped in trapped this time. Huh? In other words. Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What? What did mm -hmm. you say? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm also curious. So. You'll understand soon enough. Okay, cool. Very soon indeed. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school the beginning. Stand Why do we at the beginning yeah. of the game? <laughs> of the entire world. Wow. That actually, wow. That's actually a pretty big school. It is. It brings in top students from every field and unimaginable, a government funded school of privilege. Say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop to the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to... Wait, there are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Uh-uh. Hey man, why are we here? <laughs> what? Where am I? I woke up with my he head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. Body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Gah. What the fuck happened here? Finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then... I was awake. Or was this another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. Isn't that the rocket from the very beginning of the game? First cutscene? Yes. <laughs> there must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. After what my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what had happened. 
alter ego saved me. And he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. Well, you don't know that. So I can't give up now. For myself, and for my friend. And he that, doesn't know that, but he is correct. God damn it. And with <laughs> that, my pursuit of survival began. First up, let's start looking for a way out of here. Over here. Well, there's a fucking giant door. <laughs> so I guess we're just garbage now, huh? Yeah. Is that an airplane? What? What makes that look like an airplane? Excuse me? How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? I don't see an airplane from that. I see a it's rocket. The, it's, the, it's the tail bent. <laughs> oh. That's a rocket and a tank. Where's the tank? Do you not see the tank? Is it like the nozzle? Like, by the like, Monokuma head? Yeah, but the Monokuma head by there, that's like the, the cannon. And it goes into the main, like, gun part. Oh, I see. it. Okay. A rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Why? This is interesting. What am I seeing here? A desk. This is a desk. It's probably the one okay. that I fell. How are you alive, by the way? You landed on the trash. That's all metal. He could have just got impaled. He landed on the trash. <laughs> Fucking rubber boy. Fell down with me here. Okay, we're leaving. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. No, how many times I? Tr uh, oh, number of times. How many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it? It didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, was Makoto's name tag always green? No, it's because it's nighttime. Oh. Uh, well, actually, no, not 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 nighttime. It's um, green is for like mystery. You don't know. Because he doesn't know when he's waking up and like. Okay. Anytime soon. As I the darker, yeah. I decided to look around for some food. In the trash? Oh. The tray. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless too. Man's hungry. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are an all-around bad idea? Again, Smell it. pointless. Yeah. I assume it's all oil. Probably. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. Well, that's still not enough reason to give up because... Because I'm still alive! As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was cry. Go to sleep. Yeah, that makes sense. It must smell in there with rotten food and everything like that. Yeah. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left. After not being able to drink or eat. Can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. I was like... It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not, not exactly. That was a cool sound effect. Crunch. What the? The strange sound of pierced my silent isolation jarred me awake. As I watched the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Well, I can only assume a couple things. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash. Rude. Well, she even emerged from the pile of garbage. I knew who it was. What the fuck? It smells awful. Well, hello. Welcome to the trash pile. You have some. You have some food on your head. Can I eat that? Mm -mm. Kyoko. Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. Oh yeah, you have the master key. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. Damn. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Oh, bread and water. Yes. My favorite meal. Go Woo! ahead and eat. We can talk once you're finished. Oh. 
Thank you. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out up for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Damn, dude. You're not even gonna savor the piece of bread? Oh. Phew, that really hit the spot. Drop it down. Yeah. Just whole. Oh. He, just, he just crushes it into a ball, just swallows the ball. <laughs> now I've got all the energy, I need to keep going. How? <laughs> so, you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. So, uh, what's up? But Kyoko, why'd you come here to rescue me? So... To pay a debt. Or, no, to atone. Atone. You... During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. Um. I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. Yeah, she kind of did. She kind of threw you under the bus. Yeah. No, that's not exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. Asshole. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. Asshole. However... But listen, that's not what I'm trying to make... I'm not... Listen, that's... No, oh my god. Not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive. No matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive In other words, is so that I can do what I came to the school to do. Learn? Be the best that you can be? I don't know. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason, which is... See, if there's some reason for coming to Hope... Uh, yeah. Indeed. That's right. At least... I did. Once. Once. I... Till recently, I've forgotten what it was. You forgot, but that's... No memory of what purpose was. Huh? Usually I her amnesia. Uh-huh. I had no memory of what my purpose was. Yeah, it's impossible. Amnesia. Then is it really true? You lost your memory. Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? The first thing. You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnection. Disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at the point of my memory, was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you, th you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I could come up with. It's my purpose and my ability. Somehow, they would interfere with the Mastermind's plan. So the Mastermind just stole them from you. However, it could, And it could also mean... Somehow my memories could be connected to the mystery of the school and the Mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that and we all work as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. Whoa! What? Correct. Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The Mastermind, one of us, if she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However, That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition. But... You'll bitch. <laughs> what? It's like you were the least likely. In other words, you were a little bitch. <laughs> True. I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I... understand. I should... understand everything. 
my goal isn't to get out of here, it's to stay here. Gah. Whoa. Why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even though I still don't I still trust you, you know. It's just I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that just her personality. Uh so now uh, we we get the fuck out of here. We still talking? You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating investigating on your own. So how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and ability. Oh You mentioned your ability. I my ability whatever what everyone should have known for me. Wait, God, I, reading. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. No shit! No shit. The ultimate detective. Correct. And the reason I came to Host Peak Academy was that someone I ha There was someone I had to find in here, in the school. You had to find someone? Who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Host Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Cause he's my dad. Okay, that was pretty obvious. In other words, I was separated from him as a child, and it turns out he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad. Is Hope's Peak a headmaster? Then so that explains when Ultra. I don't know where exactly where it was. I think. We'll just carry on here. So I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important and really ominous. Am I still talking to you? However, of course, like uh, there's no monitors, which is why I had uh, no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with Bakuro, doesn't it? However, just to be precise. Perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill her? Anyway. What I could say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial, Kuro, was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I sold that key and disappeared. And, re and in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind, the mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. Even because of the school regulations. That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. In other words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules. And with that, the rule in place, they couldn't step in. So they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use a class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the mastermind itself is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Makuro. What's that? There was a point where Makuro may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. Me? I could have become the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... Right when here? I was attacked by the or During the night. I... I could hear them, you know. The footsteps of the, of the God of Death, okay? I can hear the God of Death as he moves. The ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway... Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I had sudden, a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell, and saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room and saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... That was the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... 
whoever the mass assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murderer was disguised. And the dojo key wound up in my room. It all had to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all of this would mean that whoever killed Makuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I, th that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind could kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, wait. Doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right, that is a contradiction. And it's not just Makuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did as contradict is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh. Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. Hmm. The other ultimate despair. There's no doubt that McGurl was the ultimate despair. And that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not. Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about. Right. What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Tragedy, whoever's respons responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair. That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're. Indeed. Make no mistake. They're the root of all. Th they are the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. Hmm, that's crazy. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. <laughs> the end of that chapter. And nothing changes. Yep. To be continued. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a rocket. Do you want to save? Yes. Rocket with you. It's yours now, it's a keeping That giant ass rocket in the trash, put in my pocket? Yeah. Mm. Yep, right in my pocket. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. Hmm. Well, right now... Anyway. Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. So, uh... Let's get the fuck out of here, then. It's locked, but... We have a way to open this door. Alright, I have to talk to her again. Okay. Lokoto, do you still have that one thing? Oh, wait, no. Her okay, never mind. Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolute vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can op it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. That's right. And we should be able to use it on that door, right? Well, then let's go to the fucking door. It's true. What's fine? What the fuck was the point of talking and then? Okay. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole, and then it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Sick. Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief, because the real fight had just begun. Woo, chapter six. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Deadly life. Woohoo! Now we're getting. We're now we're cooking. We're ah. on the last stretch of the game. Whew. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney, like my cock. <laughs> there was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. 
Oh, yes. Great, great shot there, game. Mm -hmm. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. This is a good picture for a thumbnail, by the way. Yeah. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea where we... I had no idea we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Y yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. I got a fucking ad. Huh? Well. You know you can just watch in the... You know what? Never mind. Not gonna go. Maybe talking with... Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. What the fuck is this? Um, so, Kyoko, there's something I want to ask you. You said the ultimate... You're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I could remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then is your f family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition. It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. Conscious effort. It's true. It's kind of an old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Mm hmm Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... I... Gave up something of that... Gave up some of that pride. Huh. I... In order to enter Pope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect. I had no absolute. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh. But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever. The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kikiri family. He was talented. He had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and ha they had a huge argument. And, and young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I had gone with him, I would. I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell, though, she was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there's one thing, one thing that I can never forgive. Really. So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, it was I think it was a good thing. However, but when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see even see me to this day. I 
His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need, I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past, in order to remove him from the li my life forever, I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family, to just cut him out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. And I'm are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? I was so shocked to hear hear her say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. Coward. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. It was a long ladder. Yeah. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Yippee. Look at that. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of the store, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where it will come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Oh, here goes nothing. I reached my hand, my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opens with these, and so... We're here. Looks like we're back. <sighs> but I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. Can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back at Hope's Peak Academy. Thank you. I would never have gone out of there without you. <laughs> Nothing's necessary. I was returning the favor. Well... So now what do we do? I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, I'm worried about you too. You helped me. You helped me, so they might... Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So, then. so let's get a concrete answer. Ah. In other words, let's ask Malakumu if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... However, we try to hide, it's only a matter of time we'll find out. We're found out. And it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think? What you think is going to happen is because, because the mastermind is one of one that's ensnared. She keeps saying that. What does it mean? So the mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into into Makuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was. Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us to go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiation. Negotiations, whatever. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Okay. <laughs> there was a lot of talking there. Mm-hmm. The last time was a lot of talking. I forgot to open the map. There we go. Uh. Yeah. Let's go. Well now, well now, well now. Hey, time seven. <laughs> Kyoko, I don't mind so much. I do but Makoto's supposed it. to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? <laughs> you were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko, do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute, Mak if you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? Huh? I lose? Hey! 
You. Explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up the latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted to ex excuse an uh, unexcuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the black... as the black and, and then executed, right? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you re reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blackened and tried to execute him. You made that choice out of desperation. No more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you, as well. However... Well, then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Uh, alter ego. You never imagined the possibility of it, of a being that could come to our aid and even after you killed it. it. Am I wrong? Now here's the absolute truth. Mokoda didn't kill Makuro. You did. No response. <laughs> So executing M Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your of your rules, which I, I know you love so much. If the black end is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Yeah. Hmm. And that means I lost, lose. You talk a big game. You're saying that the black end is me and not Makoto? Well. And you can prove this, right? Wow. No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? That makes such... To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now. But with a little more time, I guarantee you I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. <laughs> and now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto is... If Makoto really was the killer, he would never... Would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the desire you lo so loved to inspire. However, but here we, here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto right now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Ah. Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think of you. Think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. <laughs> hey. Of course, you could say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove us. Prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Greg. If, if you want to earn our despair, fair and square, then I suggest you try to take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Makoto's trial over again. Only this time, you follow school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Okay. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Makuro's killer of the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. A lot of dots. <laughs> interesting. Bear it! Very interesting indeed. Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So time for <laughs> so time for bear jokes. Nice. Now what you've suggested might be possible, it would certainly make one honey of a climax. In other words. Does that mean you accept? If we do things your way, there'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? 
that I'm pre-bear to agree to your turns. Holy shit. Will your hope win out? Or will my dis dis despair claim victory? <laughs> Let's have one grisly showdown. He agreed. Do we still have a shot at this? Barrett! This is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely at a fitting end. You guys! So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries. <laughs> that's right. Every last mystery that's paw pawing around the school. If you could do that, I can barely then that'll be myself. enough to qualify as a victory for you <laughs> qualify it's true that's what we've been trying to do all along okay well good then let's bear it all if you can claw your way to the truth of Makuro's death and solve the mysteries of the school then you win but if you can't do all that we're all face execution right I can barely contain my excitement when you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that. For sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything's based on the school regulations. And having a trial from Makuro is no exception to that. Ah. Makuro's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations. Which would have to mean that whoever killed Makuro <laughs> is a very polarizing approach. I know, but okay. Enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in hope since the killing games began. Okay. Are those 16 students? What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go so quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> Laugh. Now I'm, really angry. I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get, get lost, would you? Why so mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Oh, okay. I'm going. I just... You're really going to let me go? <laughs> hmm, I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment, overflowing with despair. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey. Come on, Makoto, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. Just like that, we were out of the gym. Yahoo! I can hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Well, let's chat. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. That's true. <sighs> but I'm still... But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But, but honestly, why would the mastermind agree to the to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So They had no choice but to accept. Huh. Because It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let their guard down. Oh, hydration. Finally. I actually do need to hydrate. I'm very parched. You're welcome. Editor cut his voice out. <laughs> okay, let let down their guard. So when was it that the mastermind let their guard down? So I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school live to the outside world, right? 
Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet, somehow, the Mastermind was able to do it. In other words... But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something. No matter the cost. Us killing each other? They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The Mastermind had been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. And that... Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other. And show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. A point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak... Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hopes, right? Or hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the Mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that the despair is better than hope. That's their goal, as the ultimate despair. Whoa. They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would d devise. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But, but is that really the only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet... The same motivation is what led to the Mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than then is reasonable about their own regulations. If the Mastermind is simply ignored, simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but one-sided slaughter. At the very least. At least, that's, uh, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. This is precisely the reason. No matter how much they had, they may have hate, hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished, but in in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all the, their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trail that didn't have a right answer. They made me out to be the killer, but even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead of... Instead, who also was not the killer. And when the fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope. They have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge? However... Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed in me. Another, another, path, op another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the movement. The moment we decided to go talk to him. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fucking drink again, hold on. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of nego no negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, I'd be shown my uneasiness that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... 
Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the mastermind, it it will cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. Great. True. <laughs> but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together and with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone. However. Is that really possible? Huh. Anyway. Anyway, right now we have to go find the others. Shall we go? They were, they are probably in the dorms somewhere. Shall we go? Oh my god! To the dorms. I'm using the map. Where, where's dorms? I guess this is the hall. Wait. Okay, here we go. I like how it's called the Spare Hotel. Mm-hmm. So do we just knock on people who's alive then? I believe they're in the cafeteria. They said dorms, but all right. The cafeteria's in the dorms area. Nuh-uh. Cafeteria is the cafeteria. And suddenly we were greeted with, okay. What even the fuck is that? <laughs> you again. What is wrong with him? Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limits. I'm gonna assume that's a really bad word. What the heck? However. I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah. Hey, what is up? That Makoto? You guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto! Huh? You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? <laughs> I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Ooh, I'm a spooky ghost. Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as they saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. Fucking baby. What? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. <sighs> it's Makoto, he smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away, shoo, shoo. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Makoto. Happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's what related with, to what I have to tell you all. Go on. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Huh? Last class trial. In other words. We're going to redo McCurl's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? Duh. What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her. Right? No, I didn't do it, like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Huh? Then, who is it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the Mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the Mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap con con tra uh, by the Mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time, and did what he had to do. Wait. What well, he had to to stop it. Typo. Anyway. However. But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you say? He spotted the trap. Did you, Bakoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. However. The executing Makoto, who wasn't the black in, is a clear violation of school regulations. The rules state that the only that only the black in is to be executed. Executed. The mastermind broke their own rules, which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hmm. They had no choice to agree. 
You used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observ observant of you. Naturally. I rec recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's a mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about how it's about who killed Makuro, right? So our job was to expose the mastermind. Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. Duh. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But... but we've been looking around all this time, and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You're probably... You'll probably guess already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, everyone! Yeah. Hey, hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway... At this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel this truth. Hmm. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... but figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Makuro, and all the school's mysteries, <sighs> is a pretty tall friggin' order. But maybe, maybe, but this time, the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So we work together and search as hard as we can. I'm sure we solve all. We'll solve all the mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. I. I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too at first. Until Monokuma gave us a little hint of his hint. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach. I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but the killing game began with 16 partic participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take play take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. Whoa! -ho. I see. Monokuma said that, did he? The Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? Huh? But why? So, in other as words... If the Mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, then the Mastermind would have had set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Makuro, but there's no way he could have disguised a scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who, had, who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then, the Mastermind is... Whoa, is one of these people. There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Makuro and you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them. That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only one still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue or do we get to you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way. You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said that all that to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly possible. It's certainly a possibility. Only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despairs, so they must be a high schooler. <laughs> you can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to could have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Well, Maybe they snuck off and controlled them in in secret. But I don't care how sneaky you are. We couldn't notice someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? And maybe Monokuma was an was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way we could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they di directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Bing bong. <laughs>